Welcome on my YouTube channel. Today in this episode I will continue the installation of this Deckling 4K Extreme Video Wire card in my computer. So in our last video you saw how I installed this card into my computer, what kind of hassle I have uh, with this uh, really heavy HDMI cables inside in my computer. Then I try to install the driver. So <laughs> try, yeah. And I always tag it around. Uh, the system tells me there is some kind of conflict between the NVIDIA audio output of the HDMI ports and between this Blackmagic uh, card. Then I realized something. My card is pegged around February or March in this year. And in this time they packed the, the driver, the 9.8.1 with my card. And of course this 9.8.1 driver pack is not fully um, compatible with the Windows 10 because in that time the Windows 10 is, I think it's in the latest uh, but better uh, stage of, of uh, version. So, aha, uh -huh. but there is a trap. The, the driver is not contain only the software for your operation system. It's also contain the part of the firmware update for your hardware. So here is when this egg and chicken and chicken or the egg is coming into the picture. If your driver is not fully compatible with your OS, then of course it cannot speak with the hardware. And then of course it cannot upgrade the firmware to this level. But if your firmware <laughs> is the, not the latest one, then your next uh, driver cannot speak with your hardware. So, oh my God. So what I did, it's a kind of stupid solution, but I take out my card. I installed back to my HP Z800 uh, old workstation, which is running Windows 7 64 bit Pro. Then I applied uh, this driver, which is the 9.8.1. And of course, immediately everything is working. And this driver is told me, oh, oh, wait a sec. There is a new driver for this card and he wants to install. And then it's exactly is written on our screen. Please do not turn off your uh, computer. So this is when I realized what I think about this firmware and driver and blah, blah, blah. It's true because the driver is also updated the firmware of my card. And then of course it's went up to the 9.8.5 or 6 or whatever. So each driver is just upgraded to the, to the next one until arrived to the 10.5.0 or 4.8. I don't know. Then I, said, okay, this is the time to, to stop it. Then I unplugged the, this card from my ZH, uh, Z, uh, Z800 workstation. I placed back into my Z840 workstation. Then I applied the 10.5.0 driver. And then this driver has told me, hey, there is a new update. Please do not turn on off your computer. And of course, on the end, I get everything fully working, fully functional, and I'm so happy because it's not conflict with nothing. It's so fast. It's it's working like a sh like a chill. So in this video, I just want to show you what kind of next steps you have to do with the decklink uh, cards, and uh, I will do some kind of basic recording and playback in this video. So if something will not work fully. Uh, don't worry, it's not an issue of the hardware or the software. It just can be my fault or my idiotism. I connected my camera, my field monitor, my other monitor, my primary monitor, my mixer. And uh, I have also a piece of shit camera. So I find this black and white security camera in the garbage. So this will provide for us if I'm right, a maximum around 360 TV lines or something, because I did some kind of measurement. So the pixel frequency is really low, like, like <laughs> the Blackmagic Decklink Extreme card can do a hardware based upscaling and downscaling. So it's meaning I can get some really nice results 
on full HD from this shitty camera. So what's going on? This camera on a hardware, on, on a CCD, it just can make around 360 lines. Then of course, inside in this shitty camera, there is some kind of pretty old uh, uh, chip or circuit, which is making from this low level of lines, the 700, uh, 720 multiply 576 uh, uh, pixels. And this is what is coming out from this. So, so let us to try what this Blackmagic Deckling Studio card, oh sorry, Extreme card can do with this shit source of video. By the way, now I'm using, I think this is the best um, screen recorder software nowadays on the market. The NVIDIA did this NVIDIA mm, GeForce Experiments name of software, which contain the shadow play screen recorder. So yeah, let me uh, let me play a, a bit with this. First, what you have to do after the installation of uh, the Blackmagic uh, driver pack, it's uh, you have to analyze your uh, disk uh, speed. So let me start this test and um, came first from the normal uh, SATA drive, which is sitting alone on my one of my uh, SATA port. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> it will be enough, maybe for PAL or maybe HD. Uh, 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 okay, so if you have one normal SATA drive, you maximum can do uh, full HD uh, 24p record and play back. On a full HD, you just you just reach the 24. So it's not too stable. So let me go to the other drive, which is my uh, C drive, which is running in uh, in uh, which is running in uh, RAID 10. So it's really interesting. No, uh, because I think because I do a record on my on my C drive, it somehow the read is decreased and um, the write is not changed. Uh, who knows what's going on here? But if you see this system, this uh, RAID 10 SSDs, it's even not give you enough uh, speed to do a full HD. Uh, 60p recording, which is my target. In a full HD, I just can achieve 37 uh, frame per sec. Let me go up to my old Cheetah SAS drives, which is sitting here on a Z, and I think uh, this will be my uh, Blackmagic folder. I expect something will miss only here, maybe one or two uh, stuff that I cannot uh, record. So let me start. So I expect around 600 and 600 at least. So start. Wah. Something. Okay, we, we, we start. More. <laughs> look, look, look these numbers. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Almost 600, 600, come on, come on, you can do it, 600, please, do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, we reached the 600. So, with 600 megabyte per sec, you can be sure, you can record Full HD on 60p in full resolution without any compression on 422, on 444, and even 2K, which is not the Full HD, it's more. Even on a 2K, I can record 25p without any problem. And look at the, the numbers. In a Full HD, I can reach 76 uh, frame per second uh, without any compression. So never listen to this uh, free uh, HDD test uh, softwares 
if you dealing with uh, black magic video cards because this speed test software is do a stress on your HDD like you really record the S video is using two BNC inputs so you will not find this S video uh, connector on your Declan card so you have to apply some kind of uh, adapter for it and uh, the composite is also using BNC instead of uh, normal uh, uh, RCA connectors and also the component. One of the great things about this, you don't have to take care of the frequencies and the switching fields and uh, uh, I or P or whatever and the resolution, everything will be happen fully automatically. So next one is the video output. So this is a bit, a bit of tricky because uh, if you don't switch, if you have HDMI monitor attached to it, uh, to the HDMI output, then uh, this PSF is forcing your HDMI output to drive on full fields 60p uh, regardless what is the incoming frequency of your pictures. Uh, this is like kind of default settings, it's just, uh, yeah, it can be if you using some kind of analog input and you pause your um, video recorder, the last uh, last uh, half field and the first half field, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a kind of uh, b like uh, blinky blinky. So if you pause your device, uh, this hardware can remove the field jitter because this is 6G compatible. Of course, it can run dual link 3G uh, HDSDI to your uh, recorder or to your monitor. Analog video output. This is when uh, the scaling is came to be interesting. You see, you can, even if your input is HDMI, 60p, full HD, then this uh, hardware, really nice hardware card, can drive uh, analog outputs uh, with this signal. If you stop your video signal and your output is in idle state, you can force your um, Blackmagic Declan card to do a last frame show. It's a nice feature. I never seen, <laughs> guys, I'm telling you, I never seen any field monitor which is uh, natively support all different kind of uh, 3D HDMI signals. So yeah, most of the case we are using always uh, the left eye or the right eye is depend on the, the content. So. Uh, in my priority, I am used the left. And the uh, next one, it's like the reference input. If, if you working in an um, inline production, of course you need uh, some kind of uh, sync reference. If you have uh, old gear or home gear, what you want to use for professional uh, recording, here you can do a lot of uh, adjustment and then you can um, arrive to the right level of video signals. And of course, for that you need some kind of uh, test uh, gears, but um, in a real life it's the best way if you just start to record on your tape and you you monitoring back on a simple normal uh, CRT TV and here you can adjust these levels and then you can arrive to some kind of sweet spot. And uh, yeah, that's it. So this is a really nice uh, touch on the analog output. And uh, beta cam levels, if you have beta, uh, uh, SP or Digi beta recorder, of course you have to adopt uh, the, the beta cam level. So here you can simply just uh, set this one and uh, everything uh, will be right. Most of the case, if you left this in a, in a USC, all of your NTSC uh, video tape recorders or cameras will uh, will understand this signal level. Audio. You can use the digital audio signals from your HDMI source, or you can feed digital ASCBU signals to your Declan card, and also you have a very nice balanced. XLR inputs on your Declan cards. ASCBU output levels, it's meaning it's applies some kind of digital 
level adjustment on your output which is can go up to 12 dB. Again very nice touch. First you adjust the difference between the two level and then of course you can lock them together and look uh, it's moving together so it's meaning if you have constant difference between of two channel and uh, your analog recorder it's somehow the, the input amplifiers give you much more nicer uh, noise to signal ratio if you drive a bit uh, the input this is where you can do it and of course if you have a serious audio monitoring system you can see these small differences uh, you can feel these small differences so here with this uh, amount of adjustment you never have a problem the 4k extreme has done and uh, so scaling on all input and all output so in our case with this shitty black and white camera i can switch from normal sd to hd so what we what is give me a normal 720 uh, i or uh, 576 i um, video it will be converted up to scaled up to full HD uh, uh, to full HD resolution. I have here a possibility to convert my normal to 4x3 to 16.9 on a hardware. So it's not not like you do in a software and you get a hassle on the oh how much and why it looks like crap and whatever. No, it's everything happened here in a hardware. So I can record from this shitty monocore uh, security camera which is black and white sorry guys a normal full hd picture so let me choose this uh, output conversion if you again if you have uh, uh, analog recorders or uh, your footages is recorded on sd where you not uh, do an input conversion and all of your post-production is running on SD, then of course you have here a really nice touch. When you do an export, you can up convert from normal SD to HD. So this monitor here, this is my uh, normal computer monitor, which is already recorded with uh, the NVIDIA Shadow Play uh, services. And the other one, this is my hardware um, logging monitor from my Declan card. So it's meaning everything signal which is coming into my um, Declan studio card, of course, will be go into my computer, but on the hardware side, it will come out to this monitor. Log and capture, ta -ta, everything is working perfectly. And if you see, if you check now, there is some kind of lag between the two, but it's not, uh, it's not so big. Look, this is how it looks this shitty Monaco security black and white camera, which is CCD, really old in a full HD hardware upscaled converted footage. So let me do some kind of uh, yeah, capture. Okay, I think nobody did that. So pff, welcome on the highest quality YouTube video ever recorded on a planet from Blackmagic 4K Decklink Extreme card. It's a really kind of wow. Look, look the details, look the colors. It's 10 bit, it's 12 bit. It's, the colors is uh, beautiful and wow. But the great thing about this, don't forget, this picture, what you see now, it's a 420 line of security CCTV camera what I find in a garbage. And this is my black records from this old shitty camera. <laughs> Look, okay. I, I think, uh, 
I think it looks great because I know how this camera is not looks great. Who is this idiot? <laughs> <laughs> but look the details. So all the cables, even some piece of my hair, if I have any, so some piece of my hair, it can be, can be visible <laughs> from this shitty camera. Look, uh, for example, this cable, I know this cable here, it's a really tiny cable. It's about one and a half millimeter or something like this, and it's still visible on the video record. So let me now go to playback and change here this conversion back to SD. So it's meaning there is no upscaling conversion. This is a really nice uh, touch. So let me record again uh, from this uh, black and white camera. Capture. So no, this is the normal SD recording, played back on SD and play back on on four by three, uh, four by three um, ratio. Uh, you see that paper, these lines, it's really like, I think it's one of the hundred of the millimeter or something like this, but look, is still visible through this CCTV camera. I'm telling you guys, those lines are very tiny. I, this is uh, one of my next uh, projects, which is coming soon in my channel. So yeah, this is the resolution what uh, this Deckling 4K XM uh, video card can record from your normal SD signal. And you see the windows, it can handle it, can show it, can play it, no problem. But look the um, difference between the two. It's, I think, yeah, it's, I think it's slightly better than if you do some kind of software uh, upscaling. The resolution is full HD. And don't forget, this is recorded from this shitty CCTV camera. Uh, let's uh, have a look on other one. Uh, here. Uh, okay file and the properties, this is normal uh, video resolution. <laughs> and I'm telling you, the original resolution is much more less than this. It's like uh, 420, I, I think. So yeah, here, of course, you have a lot of possibility to choose different format, different uh, ratios, different uh, IP, different color depth and 8-bit, 10-bit, 422, 444, DPX format, whatever. So this is a really great uh, tool to do a um, um, uh, recording alone, a standalone. The Blackmagic design, it's really supported by a lot of professional uh, software makers. And one from that is, of course, the Sony. So if you have XD cam level of camera, you will get from the Sony this uh, uh, Catalyst uh, Bros and Catalyst Export whatever software. Look, here I can choose my Deckling card to do an external professional monitoring. And here I can go up even to DCI 4K or I don't know what. So this is the normal 4K and this is this extended uh, uh, 4K. So yeah, at the moment I just have full HD monitor. And if I start to play a video, look, I can work here on the, here on the Sony uh, mm, Catalyst system on a color grading and this Blackmagic uh, uh, hardware monitoring will show me the results from the color grading of uh, the, the Sony software. Let's do a two split. Look, is that not beautiful? How it's worked together with this Sony software? So let's uh, apply some curves only on a red and do some crazy on a green. And ta-da, your output 
hardware monitoring, which is in a good case scenario is running on 10 bit, 60p, 4K or DCI 4K, it can work together with the Sony uh, Catalyst, uh, um, what is this? Catalyst Bros uh, software. So I'm really happy about this because psh, now I can be sure if I purchase a really high quality um, 10 bit uh, full HD or 4K monitoring solution to here, I can be sure all the color settings what I apply here in the importing from my camera, yeah, it will be absolutely perfectly monitored. For example, I want to move, make uh, some kind of highlights a bit and I want to make some S-curve on a, on a low details, let's say, like this, look. So this is what I can see already from my Decklink monitoring solution. I think it's a really nice uh, touch on the details to make sure even your Sony Catalyst Bro software can work with the Decklink 4K Extreme. So what the good things about this? You don't have to change your workflow setting in your uh, post-production. So why it's so important? You already have some kind of workflow setting in your post-production system. And most of the case, these workflow settings is depend on your camera. In my case, the Blackmagic uh, Decklink um, card is doing a really nice job because I can do a logging, I can do a, a, a color grading, I can do just watch back all of my footage in the Sony Catalyst Bros. So if I buy now in the future, shortly, soon, a 10 bit uh, professional level SDI monitor, mm -hmm, <laughs> you can imagine how, how I will be happy because then I can do a color correction in real time 10 bit monitoring. So let's jump now into the Premiere uh, software and let's have a look on the on last uh, settings with this uh, Decklink card. I didn't install anything yet uh, from the Blackmagic and uh, you have to go to here into the preferences and go to the playback and ta-da! If your installation is correct, you can see here this Blackmagic playback and of course you have to enable it and then go to the setup and here choose your actual Decklink hardware if you have more in your system. So okay, this is the preview, but um, the capturing, it's, uh, it's again, it's a bit of uh, complicated here because here in a, project settings, you have to come to the general and the capture and you have to choose here the Blackmagic capture, which is the great things about this, if you just came here to this uh, capture properties, the Blackmagic hardware is already start to show you uh, the input on the output. So here you have to choose the, the right uh, uh, signal and the right uh, frequency, I or P or whatever. Let me see, there is 4K. So look uh, what I get, 4K recording, look, 4K recording in uncompressed to my computer directly, unbelievable, 30 frames per sec. This is the maximum. Yeah, but really nice, they also support you with the DCI. Uh, resolution which is much more than the normal 4K. So huh, I don't dream about this at the moment. So this is my uh, footage selection and we use this 8-bit 422 at the moment because of this shitty field monitor. Yeah, okay, let's uh, come here and do a capture. I hope everything will be worked. Da, perfect. So if your capture settings is perfectly matching with your input, absolutely you can do whatever you want to do. From here, you can control your old video player. It will be really funny. Soon I will come with some kind of video about this because I have a really old uh, 
SVJS uh, Studio tape recorder and of course I want to uh, connect to this uh, Blackmagic uh, device. So no, I don't have at the moment nothing and as you see this picture is fully absolutely uh, live, live uh, picture and I will not record the audio so let me do a record here blah 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 and voila everything is is running perfectly and I'm telling you guys the the lag it's really like nothing uh, stop uh, this recording eh, give some name so it's already imported into my um, Premiere Pro and voila this is the footage what we record now from the Premiere Pro and of course I can just drop here and I know so I can start to do a cuts. 3D motion oh <laughs> flip over this is really ugly so look the other Premiere Pro is still is not uh, so this effect is not hardware accelerated so it's still in red so okay let me play this footage edited footage with this non hardware accelerated flip over effect what's going on here with the cpu Ta-da! look nothing nothing absolutely nothing absolutely nothing look what crazy cut i did here so we start here from recorded with decklink from my hdmi camera then we go to the other footage with some kind of other color settings then i placed here a normal sd footage what i scaled up to full hd you see then I went to the hardware scaled SD <laughs> source full HD record. Then I went to iPhone video. Then I went to screen recorded video and no problem at all. And you know what? Import some downloaded video from the YouTube. Mm. For example, this one this co no problem whatsoever look so everything is working perfectly and if even i do a switching let's say okay do a switch and i do a scale up of course because this is really just a couple of pixel by pixel look everything is working so this black magic uh, card is absolutely perfect solution on on the on the editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video about this Decklink 4K Extreme card. So I can import any kind of videos to to do a logging, to do a color checking whatever i'm really i'm really happy with this card and if you have any question or comments about this card just left here in the comment sections i will try to reply to it don't forget i'm not a video expert and you are not i'm not sitting here in a kind of really high graded video studio but i think those cards is give you a possibility to do a, a professional level of work on your hobby level of video studios. So I think this uh, Decklink 4K Extreme, this is the best solution. If you are not stepped already into the 4K, but if you, if in your plan, you have this plan, you want to work on 4K. So this card will give you this possibility and don't forget 10-bit 444, 422, 60p, 60i, 50i, 50p, 24ip, whatever, and it can also um, it can also record from all of your old analog gears. So the possibilities on the creativity 
it's almost endless. So now I can use all of my old gears, all of my new gears, even this uh, shitty CCTV camera to do uh, really interesting uh, YouTube movies. And yeah, I am really like it. So Blackmagic Design, if you guys watch this video, absolutely good work, perfect job, amazing card, amazing hardware, thumbs up, really thumbs up. And uh, yeah, that's all. See you next time.